So in order to solve the problem of network capacity growth, service providers need a few things from their network. They need the ability to add capacity and to add capacity quickly. They need the ability to simplify the operations of adding that capacity. So they need things like point and click provisioning, service provisioning uh, based on SLAs. They need certainty and they need it primarily to be operationally simple to enable that quick turn up of services. So in order to solve the problem of capacity chaos, service providers and their networks need a few things. They need to be able to add capacity, and we're seeing the evolution from 10 gigabits to 100 gigabits in the network. They also need to deal with the on-demand uh, nature of the network, so they need to have any-to-any -any connectivity throughout the network. Um, when you deal with that any-to-any -any connectivity, they need to be able to make that operationally simplified. They, they cannot um, do truck rolls, they need point and click provisioning through our service manager. The dynamic optical layer provides three key values to service providers. First of all, it is optimised for the metro aggregation part of the network. That's where the problem happens, that's where we're solving the problem. Secondly, it brings a system-centric approach. That allows us to provide any-to-any -any connectivity, it removes the need for network planning, it removes the need for network pre-provisioning. And thirdly, it brings scalability, therefore providing our customers with a secure investment as they deal with the bandwidth demands of the future. It will scale from 10 gigabits to 100 gigabits and any bandwidth demands that come beyond that, for example, 400 gigs with a gridless approach to optical networking.